the marshmallow is looking glorious in full flower. So I thought we'd come down here, shoot a video and share with you some of the core properties of this plant. So marshmallow root, its Latin name is Althea officinalis. And uh, starting off talking about the taste of this plant. So marshmallow is really cool because this is in Western herbalism, in my opinion, one of our best sweet tasting herbs. We refer to it as a sweet tonic. And, you know, our concept in, I guess, Western culture of the sweet taste, you know, we usually think of sugar, you know, like the taste of candy and really sweet sugary things. But in the context of herbal medicine, the sweet flavor is really like the taste of carbohydrate, right? So we would really think of things like rice and potatoes, yams, like starchy root vegetables, all have the sweet taste. And in Ayurvedic medicine, <clears throat> the sweet flavor is said to be composed of the earth and the water elements. This flavor is said to help to rebuild and rejuvenate, replenish and restore tissues that have become weak, uh, dehydrated, atrophied, um, malnourished essentially. And so that sweet flavor has this, has this rebuilding, restoring, property, right? We see that in the earth element, it's nutrifying, and the water element in the sense that it is moistening. And that sweet taste brings us to one of the core actions of, of um, marshmallow root that really is kind of the main thing that this plant does, which is that it is demulcent. Demulcents are really cool. Um, this property essentially means that <clears throat> the plant is hydrating to tissues that are dry. So this action is due in part to the presence of a category of constituents referred to as mucilaginous polysaccharides. These are long chain sugar molecules that are essentially hydrated by water. And so what happens with marshmallow root is you, you know, soak it in water over a period of, you know, overnight is usually adequate and it yields this kind of thick, slimy, mucilaginous decoction. And um, that has this incredible property of hydrating dried out tissues. Um, the demulcent property is really, really incredible. Um, it is essentially cooling excess heat irritation, aggravation in the tissues. Whenever a, a tissue in the body is overly dry, it tends to become much more prone to heat. We see that in nature, right? I mean, anytime something dries out, it burns and combusts more easily. Well, the same is true within our body. When our body experiences too much dryness, it becomes much more prone to heat. So one of the cool things about demulcents and marshmallows specifically is that that demulcent property is going to soothe and cool that excess heat and irritation while at the same time hydrating and moistening the tissue and the dryness that's behind that heat. And so from the Chinese perspective, we would refer to that pattern as yin deficiency. It's not necessarily true heat, it is heat because of an excess of dryness. And this is a really important property um, to understand about marshmallow. It really is the core thing that this plant does. So demulcent is its core action. A secondary action that we see typically associated with demulcents is emollient. And an emol whereas a demulcent uh, hydrates dryness, an emollient softens hardness. So anytime a tissue becomes dry, it tends to contract and harden. And the emollient property tends to soften that hardness. Some herbalists refer to emollient as just a topical demulcent action. So anytime a tissue on the surface becomes really dry, you put an emollient on it in order to hydrate that dryness. But technically speaking, it is the emollient property really refers to softening hardness, which tends to go alongside with moistening dryness. So those are really our core actions of uh, marshmallow root. Um, because of its demulcent property, we do see other kind of sub actions that are a result of it. 
being demulcent, um, one of which being that it's inflammation modulating, right? So as I mentioned, um, whenever a tissue becomes dry, it becomes more prone to heat. Through moistening that dryness, it tends to sedate heat and irritation. So it does modulate inflammation to an extent. And then the other really cool thing about polysaccharides is that when mucilaginous polysaccharides enter the gut, the immune system responds to them as if they were an antigen, right? An antigen is any substance that stimulates the immune system, right? It's something that the immune system sees as foreign and wants to fight off. And so marshmallow root and other plants and mushrooms that have polysaccharides tend to have an immunomodulating and sometimes a slightly immune stimulating property due to the way the immune system responds to polysaccharides within the gut. So we do see that marshmallow root does have this action on the immune system as well.